Emily Huber, Pioneer Field Agronomist in West Central Illinois. Today, I wanna to bring you my three tips for maximizing your stand establishment with Pioneer brand corn products here this spring. So as we look forward into the spring planting window, we really have no idea what our optimum planting windows are gonna be, how wide they're gonna be, how narrow they're gonna be, how quick a rain is gonna come, how cool the temperatures are gonna be. There are so many variables that are out there for this spring. So what can we do now to plan for that? Well, I've got three tips to help you plan for proper stand establishment. Number one, our Granular Insights app has our digital bag tag on it. If you're not familiar with digital bag tag, that's where you can scan each batch of Pioneer seed brand seed that comes into your warehouse and know your optimum planter settings. It's gonna help you identify your vac pressure or your seed plates. And we run all of our Pioneer seed batches through multiple meters to make sure that we're optimizing simulation and you can see all of those results on the digital bag tag. So if you're not familiar how to use that, it's really easy, but I will link a video here below on, on how to walk on a video that I walk you through step-by-step step how to use that. So tip number one, download that granular insights app. Tip number two, have some talc available in your shed, your seed shed this year. So as we look at it, if you are a typical graphite user and your equipment calls for graphite, then use that on your everyday planting operation. But why I want you to have some talc available is talc is actually a drying agent where graphite is a lubricant. So as we look at helping that seed flow through the equipment, graphite does a really good job. But on days where we might have some cold seed stored in the shed and we bring it out and we're in a hot day with high humidity, that can cause condensation on any, any treated seed. So as we look at that, that talc is going to, if we have that available, we can mix that in really well and it will help dry out that condensation and help it to flow through that planter better. So just have that handy in your seed, set, seed shed this spring in case you have a need for that. Tip number three is to talk to your Pioneer sales rep about your stress emergence scores. So you can find your stress emergence scores here in your Pioneer uh, catalog or you can talk to your sales rep about it. Stress emergence scores on our Pioneer brand seed corn give you the best indication of products that are gonna come up in adverse conditions. So if we have a, a higher stress emergence number, the better it is at emerging in cooler, wetter conditions. So if we're coming up on a planting window that's closing and we're faced with a, a rain that's coming in, we wanna be planting or looking at planting probably those numbers that have a higher stress emergence score I am not going to be recommending necessarily a, an, a planter uh, planting a, an SE score of a four right ahead of a cold rain. That doesn't mean we can't plant that SE score of a four early. It just means we need to maximize it and plant it earlier in that planting window. So as we look at that and, and we look at the opportunities we have with Pioneer brand corn, I'm really excited for the spring. Planting season is my favorite time of the year. And so please take these three tips and get yourself prepared for, for maximizing your stand this spring. So downloading that Granular Insights app, having some talc available in your seed shed, and talking to your Pioneer sales rep about your stress emergence scores. So let's get after it and have a safe planting season. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.